Hello everyone once again welcome to SAP 2000 video tutorial in this video we'll see how to define wind load which is automated wind load so to do that we have to go to define menu bar so from define menu bar we'll go to load patterns so from define load patterns window we'll click the type of the load is wind load and in the name we will write here wind load and the self weight multiplier will be zero and the auto lateral load pattern it may vary it is the standard so anyone can choose whatever he or she wants in this case i'm going to choose asc 7-10 standard and then add new load pattern and after that we are going to modify lateral load pattern so from here we have two options here as you can see exposure and pressure coefficients so we can exposure from the rigid diaphragm or it can be from frame or area object so if we click the rigid diaphragm which is the first option so we must apply the diaphragms on the structure first and then we can select this one so to do that we must apply the diaphragms so we have video on diaphragms how to apply how to define or how to assign diaphragms on the structure so we can watch out that video after that we have some wind exposure parameters so from here the angle will automatically generate it and we have this c sub p coefficient in the windward direction and the leeward direction so we know we have two direction the direction of the wind and the opposite direction of the wind so we have the coefficient for windward 0.8 and the coefficient for leeward we have 0.5 and here the case we have four cases manually one two three four or we can select create all cases so we'll select create all cases so from this side wind coefficients the speed of the wind we can input here in mile per hour after that the type of the exposure bcd and we have the topographical factor we have gust factor we have directionality factor and so on so here we have another option solid or gross area ratio so if we select the frame or area object then we have now we can see this ratio if we select the frame object we are not working now on the frame or area object we are working now on the rigid diaphragm so after that we can click on modify so here we can see the wind exposure width data here so you may not see this data if you do not assign or if you didn't assign the diaphragm on the structure so to see these things you must apply the diaphragm first on the structure after that we can come here so we have here two options calculated from diaphragm extent so we can also manually define the data here as you can see here so i will let it calculator from diaphragm extents and after that we'll click on okay so here we have wind the load pattern wind so after that we'll click on okay for that we can go load pattern once again and here we can see all the 12 load patterns have been generated so we can check it out from modify so from here we can see it is num case number one and the angle is 90 degree which is maybe x or maybe y and then we have another one we can check it out it is the angle the zero and we have the case number two in this way we can define the load patterns on the structure and we have also the other option which is exposure from frame and area objects so if we click this one so we have two options include area objects include frame objects so we have option to choose area or frame or both of them so i'll click on the area because our structure is a closed area object so i'll click this one in this case when we select this option we have to input the c sub p coefficient manually so how we can do that just selecting these things and wind coefficients the speed exposure type and so on and after that we'll click on okay and then also okay so now we have to input the c sub p coefficient manually as we said so we'll do that from assign after that we have area loads and from area loads we'll go to wind pressure coefficients shell so from here when we will assign the wind load we'll come here and the load pattern will be the wind load after that we will have we have pressure type two option one is to the windward and another one is other so when is the windward the pressure varies over height of course in the windward the pressure 
will vary over height so when we will apply the c sub b coefficient like 0 0.8 for the windward we will take this one and then we will apply but when we will select the leeward the opposite side of the windward then we will select this one because in that case the pressure will be constant over height and the coefficient will be 0 0.5 and then we'll click on apply so in this way we can define the coefficient the area wind pressure coefficient so we will understand a little bit more when we assign these loads so it is just defining how to define the wind load i hope until now you understand what we have done i hope this video helped you a lot thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video